guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Hey, yo, shout out to Joe Shane. Shout out to Joe Shane. He moving like Suge Knight right now. My man Joe Shane moving like a real boss. Shout out to Joe Shane. All right, listen. We the new Death Row Records. If you don't want your players wearing gold chains and all red backgrounds talking shit about your organization, come to Giants Row. If, if you don't want your players holding out, asking for more money because they think they're special like Saquon Barkley, come to Giants Row. All right? Uh, for real, bro. I want to commend Joe Shane. I want to publicly apologize, Joe Shane. I had you all wrong, bro. I feel so bad I aired your ass out during the, the, the Giants uh, trade deadline. How dare me disrespect you, Joe Shane? How dare me come for you without permission? My bad. I'm sorry. I was emotional. I had a light skin moment in the, during the trade deadline where you didn't, you know, you ain't give us no receivers. I, I was I was out of line, Joe. Forgive Big Fist. Somebody who worked for the Giants, y'all get this video to, to Joe Shane to tell him Big Fist is sorry. I didn't mean to do all that. This man, Joe Shane, is a legend. All right, they sent Daniel Jones here. They, look, Daniel Jones came from the heavens to deliver us from evil. They sent Joe Shane, like, we, we found Joe Shane in a cave rubbing sticks together to make fire, hunting saber-toothed tigers. This fucker's a savage. My man, Joe Shane, when he makes you a contract offer and you say no, you're not getting that money no more. You're not getting that money. That's the second time Joe Shane done done this. I love it. I love it. This man, Joe Shane, said, hey, yo, Julian Love, we're going to give you seven mil. We giving you seven mil. All right. This is at the bye week. We're going to give you seven mil. Should you choose not to accept the seven mil, we're not offering it again. You take it now, forever hold your peace. Greedy ass Jordan Julian Love thought he was better than what he was. He holds out. He hits the open market because he wants $10 million a year. Now he in Seattle playing for six. He comes back to Joe Shane. He wants to get that money back. My man Shook Shane said no. Kick rocks. You were told. Take this contract or forever hold your peace. We ain't doing business no more. He told the line. He told the line. All right. The magic number for Saquon Barkley, he was told, take this money. It was $13 million. It was between $13 and $14 million. It's conflicting reports. But they offered Saquon this money. They said, should you choose not to accept this? We're going to renegotiate from the franchise tag. And that's what Joe Shane did. Because instead of giving Saquon Barkley his $13, $14 million, he negotiated from the franchise tag. I heard, This is what I heard. I'm not a fly on the wall. I can only go from what's being reported. The final offer, it got to around $22 to $23 million in guarantees and $11.1 a year. And Saquon declined it. Shout out to Joe Shane for toting the line. When Joe Shane give you a number, you take it. This is a general manager who's setting the tone. All you agencies out there, Rock Nation and, and, and Drew Rosenhouses and all you whatevers, all you agents out there, CAA, whoever Daniel Jones signed to a few months ago, all you agencies out there. Pay attention. My man Shook Shane ain't going for the nonsense. When Shook Shane give you a number and you choose not to accept it, you ain't getting it again. Joe Shane is like, he's like me when I first came on YouTube. Y'all remember a few years ago when I was on YouTube and I had to line niggas up? I had to throw everybody in the firing range. These YouTubers get out of pocket. I, you know, I bodied them. And now I'm able to do shows and laugh and be myself and be and laugh at myself because I established a reputation. If you fuck with Big Fist, you're going to get clapped. 
I established my reputation. I'm good now. I can I can joke with myself. I can be a nice guy now because you know what happens if you cross me. I set a tone. You know what I'm saying? When when 50 Cent came into the rap game, he beefed with everybody. Everybody got bodied by 50 Cent in the early 2000s. Now he could go do Oprah and do all these radio talk shows and, and shit like that and, and smile and be a nice guy and create charities because you know not to cross him. He set the tone early. Tom Coughlin, if you're five minutes early, you're late. All right. My man Tom Coughlin was a jerk. His first couple years in New York, Strahan hated him. Tiki Barber hated him. They all hated Tom Coughlin. But then he was able to be a nice guy because they knew Tom Coughlin was about that disciplined life. And then we go on to win a Super Bowl because he loosened up on straight hand. He loosened up on the veterans, the Corey Websters and whatever. He loosened up. Joe Shane has set the tone. Joe Shane is setting the tone early. This is his first real season as a GM because he couldn't do anything last year because Gettleman left us in a mess. He couldn't do nothing last year. This was his first real offseason, and Joe Shane is setting the tone. When you negotiate with the Giants and we make you a final offer, that's the final offer. That's it. You're not getting a better offer than that. So don't play no games with us. Don't try and drag it out. Don't try and get ugly in the media. We are toting the line. When we come to you with our best offer and you decline it, you're not getting it again. Andrew Thomas and your representation, take notes. Pay attention. Xavier McKinney and your representation, take notes. Pay attention. Kayvon Thibodeau, OG, Ojolari. All y'all take notes and pay attention. When Shook Shane... <laughs> OK, when he come to you with that death row contract and say this is the best you're going to get, you better take it. You're not getting nothing better than that. Bottom line. I love it. I love it. I ain't know. I ain't know Shane was a gangster like this. I didn't know. I respect him. Look, look, I like it. I like petty shit. I, I like I like gangster shit like this. I didn't know my GM was a G. Capital G M. I didn't know. I ain't know. I would I would have traded lightly when I disrespected him a, a couple months ago. I would have been nicer. I didn't know. I just thought he was cheap. Cause every time I saw Joe Shane in a in a, in a damn interview, he he had his, he had his tippy cup out and his feed me sign out. He was sounding like a homeless man crying about the cap cap space last year. So I, I didn't see the side of him. All I ever saw him do was cry broke. That's all I ever saw him do. But now, this new side of Joe Shane, <laughs> I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. I see why John Mara hired him. Oh, yeah, he about that life. Joe Shane ain't playing with y'all. He is not playing with y'all. And I respect it. I respect it. This is how you gain respect. This is how you instill fear in the opposition. You let them know what time it is. You set your boundaries, you draw your line in the sand, and you let them know what happens if they cross it. There's no point in having a line in the sand if people don't know what happens if you cross the line. That's why I left all my fire rangers up except for the ones who I, of the people I made up with. I got to have them mixtapes out there. I got to have them demonstrations out there that if you cross big fists, this is what will happen to you. Joe Shane got to play hardball with Saquon. He got to let Julian Love rot in Seattle. You have to understand what's going to happen if you do not take that final offer. Nobody's bigger than the program. None of y'all. We're in good hands, Giants fans. We're in good hands, man. We, we good. We good out here, man. We good out here. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.